This is a video about Revit 2013 MEP. It's about setting electrical panel schedule template options. We'll go right into Revit here. And this is a template file that's been worked on in some previous videos. And now we're going to go to Manage. And then we'll be on Panel Schedule Templates. We're going to go to Manage Templates. You will see uh, a couple of different kinds of panel schedule templates. Uh, there's a template type, branch panel, data panel, and switchboard. Uh, right now we're going to work on the branch panel. And for panel configurations, there's uh, two column circuits across, two column circuits down. Both of those are uh, usable in the uh, branch panel. The one column is more common for switchboard. Now circuits across means that the odd uh, circuit breaker numbers are on the left side, even numbers are on the right. Uh, and two column circuits down means that the left side goes 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you go from 25 up on the other side of the panel for a 42 space panel. So uh, I'm a little more accustomed to the uh, circuits across. I'm going to go with that. And now we're going to go to uh, setting up this. Uh, so we go here to edit. And this gives us uh, our default template that we're looking at right here. And uh, we're going to concentrate right now. There's a number of things we can change here. But right now we're going to go to setting the template options. Three sections to this. Uh, general settings. And um, here we set the uh, width, the drawing of the uh, panel. And um, so this just uh, determines uh, what size it is there. And um, it's not the actual panel width. And the uh, number of slots shown in the uh, panel. Uh, it's common, particularly, uh, you know, classically on electrical drawings to show all the panels as uh, 42 space and then just line out uh, any spaces that, that aren't part of that panel configuration. So uh, just to stick with tradition here, I'm going to go with this fixed to a, a constant value. Uh, showing in the panel schedule, um, there's a header, uh, a load summary at the end, and a footer. You can see the uh, header notes right here. Um, same thing occurs uh, at the footer and a load summary. Typically, you want to stick with all of those. And then the outside borders of the templates in terms of the uh, line thickness, uh, whether they're hidden or not, or medium lines, thick lines, whatever. So um, same thing for the border between uh, parts of the panel. So uh, not too much uh, that you might want to change there. Uh, the next thing is the uh, circuit table. Um, here we have the uh, column header text orientation. You might want to change that to vertical if you can add a bunch of uh, narrow columns. I'm going to explain what they are. And when we um, choose the uh, format for displaying the loads, uh, we can split the column for each phase. Um, we can uh, show the loads by fade. That's a, that's a little awkward. It means doubling the number of spaces uh, in the panel. Um, not too big on that one. Uh, shared column, put them in the same column, and then the mirrored phase columns like that. There again, you're adding uh, more columns. Um, it's your choice, whichever one. Uh, usually it's uh, based on how you've done it, so it looks consistent with what you've been doing. Uh, personally, I kind of like the uh, loads in the split columns by phase. Uh, showing the circuit numbers on one row for multi phase circuits. Um, that three-fold break here would show all the circuits like in that. Uh, personally, I kind of prefer that the multi-phase circuits. I'm going to set it that way. Uh, for single-phase panels, uh, you can hide the column for the third phase, um, show but disable. Um, I'm not doing a whole lot of single-phase, but that could be a useful thing to uh, uh, disable the column or, or to hide it. Uh, showing the phase column values as load or current. And, uh, I kind of like it with low because show amps, which we told them for giving you know, feed or amperage, that kind of thing. Finally, uh, we have the load summary. And um, here on the uh, panel schedule, 
we have uh, two ways of showing these loads. One is in the uh, load summary, we can show uh, only the loads that are connected to the panel, which means that if we only have, say, you know, lighting loads, uh, that's all it's going to show is lighting uh, in that summary. On the other hand, a uh, consistent set of load classifications means that you have exactly the same classifications for all your panels. And uh, it's kind of nice in, in, in looking across all the drawings. Uh, it enables you to see you know, where there's empty uh, rows, where you don't have loads kind of a thing, and make it easier to compare with other panels. It's a little harder to make that comparison when you're only um, showing the scheduled loads. Uh, I kind of like, because of those reasons, the uh, constant uh, set of load classifications. So when we do that, it gives us um, the option to set just the ones that we're going to uh, display. So uh, I'm going to set these. Um, I like to put my lighting load up at the top of the panel. And uh, then below that, I'm going to show the uh, dedicated loads. And I'm going to omit the smaller load classification. Also, I'm going to omit the uh, kitchen equipment. Uh, those can be added. Uh, I'm just not in a particular job, maybe they're not going to appear. It just makes the uh, schedule a little less cluttered. I'm going to put my HVAC load, motor load. Schedules general, other, and spare. So that's what I'm going to show on uh, the bottom of uh, all the panels that I have in my display. Now if I want to shift the order that those appear in, uh, let's say that I want to uh, move the HVAC down the bottom or move down. This is what will show uh, in that section of the panel. So I'm going to hit that and uh, OK. And to finish that template, uh, there may be other changes I would make to the template, but right at this point, uh, we're just doing it, say, template options. So finish the template, and uh, that's it. Uh, we're good to go. I'm going to be sure to uh, save uh, that template uh, for uh, future use. For further information, go to drinfrastructure.com.